The majority of people that you come in contact with are two-faced. You know, you might be too good of a person to realize that. Good people tend to project their goodness onto other people. You know, you automatically assume that uh, other people's intentions are as good as your intentions. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you're, you're way off. You're wrong about that if that's what you think. You know, everywhere you go, you see people and it's, when you start to wake up, you realize it's the majority of people. People will talk about other people when those other people aren't around. I, I take no part in that. I have no interest in that. None. I'm a straight shooter. If I have something to say to somebody, it's straight to their face. And it's usually not bad. Sometimes it's constructive criticism. Sometimes it's a compliment. But it's never a subliminal shot. It's never an attempt to take that person down. Ever. I have no reason to do that. But a lot of people, it's like they're cursed. They have a serious problem in their heads, and it's, it's the majority of people. It's pathetic. You know, but this is what they do. They see you as somebody that's relevant. Simply because you have self-respect. You love yourself. You have discipline. You have morals. You have character. You have work ethic. And they don't. They're godless. They have nothing going for themselves. And they never will. You know, a lot of people will tell you if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You know, you need to brush elbows with people that are better than you. And that's great for business partnerships, but... There's something more important than intelligence when it comes to letting people into your circle. You know, when it comes to vetting who should be in your circle, who you should call your friends. You know, loyalty is more important than anything. And a good way to judge somebody's loyalty is to find out how consistent they are. Are they the same person around this person? as they are around that person. Are they the same person around you as they are when they're not around you? Do you see inconsistencies? Are they always running their mouth about other people when they're not around? You know, it's pretty easy to tell. If somebody has loyalty, they're not going to go behind your back and try to take you down. They're going to support you. Not everybody's going to be as talented as you. You're not going to be as talented as everybody else. But if somebody is there for you, they support you, they support your best interest, and they support their own best interest, then that's a person that you should have in your circle. You know, but a lot of people are genuinely cursed. When you're a person that has hustle, you have grit, you have discipline, you have work ethic, you know, you have all of these good qualities. Other people are going to see that, other people that don't have those qualities, and they're going to despise you for those qualities. They're going to want to take you down. You can't be naive, man. You can't be naive. You got to spot these people. You got to spot the snakes in the grass because they will come for you if you have character. You know, why is it, uh, why is it good women are always getting their hearts broken by, you know, quote unquote, bad boys? Why is it good men are always getting their hearts broken by bad girls? It's because they project their own good morals onto other people. They set themselves up for failure because of it. You know, it's not always about intelligence. Sometimes... You get outsmarted by somebody that has low character. High intelligence and poor morals is a very bad combination. That's somebody you don't want to be around. You know, a lot of people are frauds.
Two Face. You know, it's sad and it's unfortunate, but uh, if you're a person that's doing things, you're achieving things, maybe you don't want a normal life. What other people call a normal life, what other people want, you know, they just want to fly under the radar, go unnoticed. They don't really want people watching them. They're perfectly happy just working their nine to five and gossiping about other people, never really getting anything done. You know, but maybe you're a person that's different. You know, maybe you have bigger goals. You have some sort of a purpose. You want to make some sort of a difference. It's not always about money. Sometimes it's about making a difference, about making change. Sometimes it is about money. You know, but whatever it is that you want to achieve, if you actually go forward and try to achieve that, you're going to run into a lot of frauds. And they're going to try to sneak into your circle. And literally their only purpose is to take you out, to take you down. They're finding things out about you. Finding out if you have any weaknesses that they can poke. That's the world, man. A lot of snakes, a lot of frauds. Lots of them. If you're somebody out there that uh, considers yourself to be one of these good people, you know, and you know, you know if you are. You know. Do you love yourself? Do you respect yourself? Do you care about your loved ones? Do you have morals and work ethic? You know. And if you do, the frauds will view you like you're in a whole different bracket. Because you are. You walk like you're in a different bracket. You talk like you're in a different bracket. You eat like you're in a different bracket. You work out like you're in a different bracket. You hustle like you're in a different bracket. Everything. You're just ahead of these people. And their best bet is to come for you and try to take you down. But I think that's extremely bad luck. And I don't believe in luck. But I do think that these people will get the karma that they deserve. You know, the world has their way of getting them back. The world has its way of getting them back. Excuse me. You know, eventually all that negativity comes full circle. You know, you get what you deserve. And they'll crash and burn eventually, but um, we're always talking about female nature, right? We're talking about uh, how to vet a woman. There's bigger problems than that, man. There's a lot of snakes out there, males and females, right there in front of you. People that you like, sometimes close friends or family members, you have no idea that behind your back, they want to take you out. It is heartbreaking, gut-wrenching to find out what some of these people are saying about you. But they're doing it. You know, and often, uh, if you're a good person, when you find out that people you're close to are frauds, they're two-faced, a lot of times it makes you feel guilty, makes you feel ashamed. You know, you feel like you're the one that's in the wrong for some reason. But you're not. You know, you have to understand that it's them. That's just who they are. They're not giving you constructive criticism. They're just poking at you. They're trying to take you down. Because there's a big difference. You know when somebody's giving you constructive criticism or when somebody's just insulting you, trash talking you, trying to destroy your reputation, bad mouthing you, throwing dirt on your name. Smearing you. Gaslighting you. You know who these people are. You know, and you got to take care of yourself. You got to watch. You got to watch after yourself. Watch your own back. You know, because whether you like it or not, you know, uh, whether you can sit there and say that your social life, you know, you're not worried about that stuff. You're worried about more serious stuff. But the people that you associate with, 
that makes a difference. You know, they can play a massive role in making and breaking you. You know, but if you have grit and you have determination, you can still find a way. But there's going to be a lot of bullshit roadblocks from a lot of bullshit two-faced people on the way. So be careful. You know, the, the big thing to look out for is how do they talk about people you know when people you know aren't around? Because that's how they're talking about you when you're not around. So keep an eye out. There's a lot of them. Hope you found this video somewhat informative. That's about it for today, guys. Until next time, see ya.